All right, so sitting with our eyes closed and some deep breathing, bringing your attention to your breath, breathing your body, your breath, and letting the palms rest open. And we are working with designing our body and the muscle around the rib cage in between the ribs, as well as the muscles at the back of your body. You're aware of how the body sits on the floor in its uprightness and like we've been practicing with the online classes that has already done them you don't have to visualize yourself being in the yoga studio visualize yourself being in your body which is another way of being directly in the body your body and with the head neck and shoulders a little bit more relaxed You'll be able to sit more upright and breathe more easily. Raising up the right arm with the eyes open, shoulders are relaxed. Big exhale. And you'll see that we're doing the same practice, more or less, like in a real yoga class. Big in, big exhale. Relax your shoulders, back of the neck longer. With the eyes closed again, just feeling the one raised hand and its palm and its fingers and knuckles and the wrist of the raised hand. And then feel similarly the other hand, raised arm, knuckles soft, palm open. Both shoulders lower them, raise the crown up, relax your shoulders, breathing in, breathing out. And then you may feel it's almost a surprise perhaps, take a large in with a big sigh and suddenly the breath feels easier. Sometimes it happens, or it hasn't happened, or it's still about to happen, or it happens with the breath I call. Big side breath. Bring your arm down, relax your shoulders in awareness of your body and arms and shoulders. Then raising up the other arm. And we're doing the same practice, becoming aware of the fingers, slightly spread, slightly stretching. You're tuning in a lot to the audio. And you're listening to the instruction, but you're feeling it directly in the own body. And with me being able to see you on my larger screen, it's not much different from you actually being with me in the class for me. That's the important part. Big exhale, relax your shoulders. So I haven't yet uh, see if uh, there's a way for you to look at only one. I think you can change your view, perhaps we'll try it out in the future so you can see only me. I'm not sure if that's possible in Zoom. Take a large in-breath, big sigh breath. Be aware of your wrists. Blood pressure in the two hands. Relaxing the shoulders so we don't pull the shoulders to the ears. And then bringing the hand down with both palms open. Adjust your feet under the shins so the knees are more or less the same height. One advantage if you can see yourself on screen is you can actually see whether what you feel or what you perceive is the same thing or not. We're often more skewed than we, than we have our awareness. So that's a great advantage. I like to use that. It's like practicing with a mirror. Big exhale with the eyes closed. Our primary awareness should be our internal mirror. It's our internal balance. But then it's quite useful in reality when we use our own mirror and the on-screen mirror. Relax your shoulders with a large sigh breath. Then we're raising both arms up to next to the head and then stretching the hands so the arms are following a straight line upwards from the body. So if you check yourself on screen in that instruction, you'll see that the arms are up and the shoulders are down and the hips are right under the shoulders and the hands are right above the hips. Deep in breath, big exhale and raising the one side then the other side. You may notice that your whole body is more tall than usual. And then when you become still again and you wriggle the body up and down with the hips and the shoulders moving slightly, the whole body forming a movement, big exhales. You can breathe in any pattern. 
So you can take a large breath while moving, but set the same rhythm for the movement. And you can take a long, slow exhale. We're going to carry on for a little while, so you could also go. And right in. Big sigh. You could also go one movement at a time per breath. And then if you run out of breath, you can take a large breath with a big sigh and the aim is to open up the diaphragm. And you should feel the heat, your internal energy, your sense of heat, thermostat rising. Big sigh, thermostat aware of the level of energy and heat in the body moving left and right. Big sigh, back of the neck long, crown up, chin tucked in. Huge exhale, big sigh breath. And then taking the hands to fingers interlaced at the back with the shoulders to the back with the shoulders to the back chest open big exhale no not because we are scared of verona uh, verona <laughs> coronavirus but because we want to be internally aware of our organs in yoga practice in general as a rule of thumb take a large breath just feel the body mass inside the body shape. So we're clasping the fingers at the back now between uh, the shoulder blades squeezed to the back and the hands fingers interlaced to the back. Big exhale, we're pulling the shoulders to a narrow line to the back. Big exhale, and with the eyes open, you're leaning with the chin a little bit to the back or lift it and the head a little bit to the back. Big exhale. So that when you rest now with the ten fingers at the front, ten finger mudra, with the crown up and the head tilted forward, you're looking at your fingertips. With a large exhale, relax your shoulders a lot more. And then with the body loosening, we can bring the hands to prayer in front of our eyes. So then the background gets blurry because the background goes into peripheral vision. With the shoulders relaxed, you're looking at your hands in prayer. And then bringing the hands to prayer at the chest with the eyes closed. So that our body and mind settles with the thumbs at the breastbone. With our eyes closed so that we can feel our body dropping deeper into our own lower back. With the mind in the body why in yoga we call it body mind big side breath with our mind in the body we are more deeply internally aware big exhale relax your shoulders back of the neck longer shoulders more relaxed breath very still you can uncross the legs to the other way around and then do a whole number of Slow but large movements. Exhales to the side, inhale up. Exhale over, inhale up. And we just keep on moving. And we're moving in a free flowing movement. And the movement at the same pace consistently. So we're feeling that our movement is rhythmic. And our breath is rhythmic. The whole thing feels loosened. At the shoulders, the whole thing as the whole practice, the whole body. Breathing more smoothly or higher up with the hands. So feel how the practice works best for your back, arms and shoulders. Regenerating flow in our veins and energy into the bodies. Big exhales. You could also lift the feet and knees as you roll to the sides, or you can stay pressing the knees and feet down. So there are variations within our rhythm, yeah. Big ends, big sigh, last few. So that our practice amplifies the movement and freedom in movement. As we slow down, we're stretching with arms straight. 
We're not locking the elbows, we're raising the crown, but we're not locking into a tight back. Big in, big exhale, you're looking at the floor space, about a meter or two ahead of you. So that when you raise the crown and your gaze is fixed at one spot, you're absolutely concentrating on one thing. So find a pattern in the floor, or the edge of your yoga mat, or something that you can fix your gaze. You're aware peripherally, but you totally have your focus on one small center spot. And let your gaze glaze over a little bit peripherally so that your vision is focusing on only one spot now. And you're closing your eyes to slits in a comfortable soft slit. Putting the tip of the tongue behind the front teeth, drawing a deep breath through the nostrils. So the only air coming and leaving your body is through the nostrils. The only visual that you have is the small one spot that you're looking at. And then closing your eyes, all your attention goes into within the body mass. And take the very largest breath, maybe a bit faster and bigger through the nose with a big sigh. <sighs> relax the shoulders. We will do it again, raising the shoulders a bit on the inhale, lift the crown up, relax your shoulders. <sighs> with your eyes closed, you are present in your body, in your body mass, but also in the body consciousness. So feel it's our awareness that is conscious of our body as a mass the weight as well as its density. Consciousness is more pervasive. Our consciousness fills the room. Our consciousness fills our rooms. We are aware of the body, we are aware of the subtle body, of consciousness. So our mental body, our emotional body, the energy field around us, that's the subtle body. Big in, big exhale. We are aware of both realities, invisible and visible. In fact, the invisible reality is visible if you tune in to the energy field of the chakras. Big in, big exhale, relax your shoulders. And then slowly, when you open the eyes, you can place the feet into an easy leg width that suits the tension or stiffness of your hips, inner thighs, groin. So you can move less or more with your feet. And then we're leaning forward with the hands on the thighs that we're pressing outwards. Be uh, taking care that you don't stretch the inner thigh or the lower back to a uh, a point where it feels that you're just about hurting yourself. So you're well inside of our stretch limit. Then more upright and we're moving in a small circle. Easy small circle. Three or four, changing the direction. We'll be loosening up a lot more as we go along, so we're taking it easy. And then a small twist with the hand to the outside of the knee. Work the back shoulder into the twist. Turn forward. Hand to the back. Work the back shoulder more into the twist there. When we turn forward, we're bringing our feet to a diamond shape butterfly. And starting to you know, relax, rolling sideways movement. Going knees down, knees down, big exhales, rolling easily, easily, moving easily, movement free and easy. And then bring the knees up a little bit with your hands and let the arms be strong enough that you can feel the weight of your knees. So the crown is up, back of the neck long, and you can actually feel how the knees are resting 
in your arms. So now you're actually holding up the legs with your hands at the bottom end of your knees so that the upper body is getting stronger. Big in, big exhale. Feel the muscles here, front of the chest, at the shoulder, and then the upper arm, and the forearms as well. Back of the neck long and make the upper body quite muscular because you're supporting the weight of your knees. So we're doing like a jiggle thing with our knees and hips. With a big exhale, if you're getting hotter from the practice, then you know the warming, the warming of the practice is actually what makes you feel the purification heat of the practice. Now we're generally going to bounce the knees towards the floor and then leaning forward a little bit and to the back and to the back we're hanging from the front and rocking sideways shoulders are down inhale up exhale to the front <sighs> hips to the back inhale front and lean to the back exhale <sighs> then we'll continue with this rocking rhythmic movement exhales exhales to the front and the back exhale and exhale exhale and exhale and we're moving moving getting on with it really go for it big exhales so it's a breath practice cardiovascular we're getting fit and loosen purify we're loosening the shoulders and hips lower back purifying all the organ systems purifying the air that's existing in the lungs we're moving faster so there's some definite fitness practice involved but because the practice is mild it's safe but because it's mild and safe we also need to continue for at least one more minute to have a discernible effect on our systems not only the loosening but the purification fitness since we may be uh, bound in small spaces and because we are bitterly bound as sedentary lifestyle people we need to learn to move in our mats and sit more wisely with our bodies big exhales feel that you could probably if you move carefully not over breathing do this for like maybe 10 minutes 20 minutes if you really need to at a time so that we can truly become unsedentary but safely and with many health effects of yoga practice this is a kundalini style practice feel the body big exhale You're waking the chi in the body or on another level of yoga practice the kundalini at the root the base move a bit slower looser move the body with the head a bit left a bit right slightly new movements bring the feet a little bit nearer towards yourself but we're still in diamond shaped butterfly shoulders down crown up and the arms are straight so now if you look down where your hands are at the shins you can put the thumb around the calf and the other hands around or the other fingers around crown up and if you look at your image on screen you'll see that you've designed the body shape for the yoga asana that we're in and you're fairly muscular because you can feel the details of your muscle tone at the chest at the back of the neck the muscles should be long and up with the eyes closed big sigh feel uh, an inherent healing capacity an inherent healing strength and innate relaxedness and innate posture big exhale postural awareness innately and an innate consciousness relax your shoulders breathe easy breathe in breathe out feel this consciousness with the eyes closed in your relaxed shoulders in the awareness of self self-awareness And bring yourself to a quiet point of stillness. And bringing the one foot towards yourself. 
and the other foot to the opposite shin. Now just gently we slowly, gradually over the period of our classes, class by class, let the body become more pliable, clay-like, in the sense of flexibility, but in a completely different sense of consciousness, the body frequency and the body vibration, whatever you want to call it, becomes clarified, loosened, big exhale. And then as always, when we bring the hands to the middle eye and our attention to the third eye, and you can sense the straight upness of your back. We're becoming uh, lucid in our chakra awareness and each chakra takes us to a point of geographical or anatomical awareness but more importantly it becomes a portal of consciousness where we can open the chakra to the consciousness whatever it connects to. So if we think of uh, heart chakra quality of love or compassion so if we open the heart portal and we connect to a pot plant in your house and there's an open connection between the pot plant and your heart chakra so doing that as a practice think of your garden or potted garden if you don't have an earth one or think of nature a forest or a beach and open the heart chakra to love that place and then as a healing practice see how powerful it is think of the whole earth the earth can do with your love in the same way that you can do with the love of earth energy breathe in breathe out big exhale stretching forward with the hands and then placing the hands far enough forward that you can feel if you bring the head down with the chin tucked in that you're stretching looser in the lower back by leaning to the left and the right, rocking slightly left, slightly right so that the body is more free, not stuck in any rigidity. Big exhale, then if possible, see if your head goes to the floor. Maybe it easily connects head right down. Coming up on the inhale, we'll repeat to the other way around as well. Big in big exhale, bringing the hands to the middle line. And for the sake of interest and working with different chakras, bring your attention to the lower back and the root chakra, which is also a chakra of the earth. With the eyes closed, bringing your attention to the earth itself, the globe. Visualize the earth globe with your attention on the earth globe and your attention simultaneously in your root chakra your version of the earth for the image of that big in big exhale think of the heart chakra loving the earth and there we have two chakras connected one and uh, four big exhale stretching forward with the hands starting to stretch towards the uh, further end of your yoga mat or further down on the forehead and if you're flexible enough maybe your head reaches easily to the earth level earth plane relax your shoulders big exhale we're sending healing intent through our bodies our third eye our root chakra and heart chakra but not only because it's a physical healing intent but also because it's an energetic one Slowly coming up on the inhale, giving relief, release to our legs. So part of our yoga practice is to not sit in cooped up with cross legs the whole time. Simultaneously practicing more so that we spend more time and more easy ability with our legs being able to loosen up. Big exhale, relax your shoulders. Move the body a little bit so that we're not trundling around but working quite dynamically 